Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. I have a uh, December's comic bento uh, in my hand, showed up uh, in the mail while I was away on holiday. And uh, so let's just dive right into it. I don't even remember what the uh, theme for this one is, but it's a very special comic bento, uh, it would appear. So we're going to open it right on up. And we've got the standard box O wrapped books. We have the card. In order to move forward, we must not be afraid to look to the past. Learning what to do and what not to do is informed by the past, and luckily, comic books have a rich and full past to draw from. Uh, so this is the throwback collection. So let's see what we've got here. We've got... Daredevil, which collects a bunch of the old Daredevil stuff. So this is the second uh, Daredevil book uh, I've gotten through Comic Bento, which I think is kind of awesome. Uh, so this collects uh, Daredevil uh, numbers 12 through 21 uh, by Stan Lee and John Romita. So we've got real classic stuff going on there. We can recognize that classic artwork. Uh, that kind of uh, made Marvel uh, what it is. You got our, our Kirby-type crackles going on there. Um, all sorts of awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, the next one is uh, Battlestar Galactica. Uh, the original Battlestar Galactica returns in an all-new star-spinning adventure celebrating the 35th anniversary of its original sci-fi TV airing. Uh, so this uh, collects issues one through five of the series. Um, complete cover gallery featuring art by Alex Ross. Uh, Alex Ross art is always utterly fantastic. Uh, this is published by Dynamite. So uh, this should be uh, an interesting and exciting read. Uh, I was a fan of the... Uh, original Galactica, uh, so much so that I was really worried when they did the uh, new one that I was going to hate it, uh, and I did kind of hate the first four hours, the miniseries. Uh, they made up for all of that uh, throughout pretty much the rest of the series, starting with the first regular episode. Had some trouble with how they ended it, uh, but overall, uh, much better execution and uh, focus than the original Galactica. I loved the original Galactica, but like most other sci-fi that came out at about the same time, it was good ideas executed poorly because, hey, that's what they had to do uh, in order to get stuff done. Uh, now the next one here, uh, the next one is uh, Youngblood, which is an image comic. Uh, and this is uh, one that I actually may have these original issues for, because I remember when they came out. Uh, so I'm not sure if I've actually read these. I may very well have uh, back in the day. August of 91, 92, uh, these, the Youngblood and Image as a whole uh, all came out uh, at the end of my comic book collecting uh, days. Uh, so I know I picked up a bunch of image stuff uh, as it was coming out, and I, I know I'm familiar with the characters. Um, so I may very well have already read these four issues, and uh, or more likely have them stashed away in boxes that I never got around to reading. Uh, so we'll uh, dig into that at some time in the future and figure it out. Now this last one, this last one's kind of a big book. And it's uh, definitely different from all of the other ones. Uh, and this is uh, The Fifth Beetle. Uh, the Fifth Beetle reveals a side of the Beatles' manager that most of us would never have imagined. And in doing so, it renders the Beatles' story in a fresh, sophisticated way, uh, full of poetic variation and surprising delicacy. It's uh, a quote from uh, Dave Marsh. So... This is uh, one, and this is uh, this. This has a cover price of uh, of fifty bucks, which is much more than I'm paying a month for this whole box of comics. So, Comic Bento, um, way to go there, uh, giving us value for the money we spend with you. Um, wow, uh, I'm looking forward to this one. 
uh, just because uh, I grew up with the Beatles. My mother's a bit of a Beatles fan, uh, and, and I know uh, a bit of what they're talking about here with Brian Epstein. Uh, so this will be really interesting. This is a nice hardcover book. It's got a uh, silk bookmark in there, or a, a cloth bookmark in there. Um, so yeah, that's Comic Bento for, uh, for December, and they went all out. So... Uh, awesome. If you uh, get Comic Bento, uh, let me know down in the comments. We'll talk about these comics or other ones like that. Uh, if uh, you like the stuff I talk about, give me a thumbs up down uh, below the video. If uh, you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified when these come out. They're going to be a little sporadic uh, in the new year. Uh, and uh, if you know other people who would be interested in the stuff I talk about, share this or one of my other videos with them so they can get involved in the conversation too. I'm Kier. That's it for today. I'll see you sometime.